Hello, my name is Shanita Sanks, and for our first discussion, I am going to share with you about the impact of Christianity in the American founding. According to Dr. Schultz's presentation titled Christian America, the United States had a special Christian heritage, especially in the industrialized Western world. There were Christian settlements, there were Christian revivals, and there was Christian civil order. Moreover, there was a symbolic relationship between Christianity and the culture of the American Republic. This republic encouraged the growth of churches and church societies and Christian societies. Christianity was important in establishing social order. In fact, there was interest, um, there were interests throughout the world and in, in especially Europe to spread Christianity to other co countries. People were willing to die and did die for sharing their faith. Moreover, Christianity in America was a refuge for persecuted Protestants like the Pilgrims, the Puritans, the Anabaptists, the Moravians, the Quakers, and the Presbyterians from all around Europe, even though Catholics did come as well to America to express their religious beliefs. The Virginia Charter of 1606 encourages the establishment of the Christian colony and evangelism. evangelism. The Massachusetts Colony and the Maryland Tolerable Act encouraged colonies to be established as Christian colonies and the evangelization of America. So these particular charters helped facilitate the, the uh, growth of Christianity, not only in the churches, but also in all the corners of society. The New England Confederation that united the New England colonies stated that they came to these parts of America for the purpose of advancing the kingdom of God and advance through advancing the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And 50 years after the fact, um, uh, the Chief Justice Warren had a most profound speech that I thought that was touching. And it says, um, quote, I believe no one can read the history of our country without realizing that the good book and the spirit of the Savior have from the beginning been our guiding geniuses. Warren also says, whether we look to the first charter of Virginia or to the charter of Massachusetts Bay or to the fundamental orders of Connecticut, the same objective is present. A Christian land governed by Christian principles. I believe the, he also says, I believe the entire Bill of Rights came into being because of the knowledge of our forefathers and of the Bible and their expressed belief in it. I like to believe we are living today in the spirit of the Christian religion. I like also to believe that as long as we do so, no great harm can come to our country." End of quote. Uh, that was a profound statement by um, Chief um, Justice Warren. And it's found that America was founded on Christian principles. Therefore, Christianity permeated not only in the church, but in the government and society as well. So as we go through this course on American Christian heritage, it is important that we have this on our background, that Christianity was well established um, and took a great part in the founding of our country. And I'm not quite sure that as we go through the course, we will learn about how the Great Awakening uh, made a uh, uh, a tremendous impact on um, in generating sentiments for the American Revolution. And so all the major events in American history, especially in American colonial history, was driven by uh, Christianity. Um, and so I think that is very important and I think that's the foundation of what we have to learn in our course, American Christian Heritage, and I'm looking forward to the journey. Thank you for your time.